Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures but here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows. Absolutely and we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yep yeah. so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you good morning guys fabulous first night in france already enjoying this and some wonderful scenery so where are we off to today, Bob? Well, um, today we're doing about 200 miles south. We're heading for a little stop called uh, Lac du Pathier, uh, which is just sort of west of Dijon, good old mustard land. Um, and uh, from there, after a night there, we'll be heading on down uh, to our first taste of the Alps. Yeah, so, I can't wait for the Alps. Absolutely. So, join us on the trip to the Lac de Pavier and I'll see if I can get some footage when we arrive to show you that uh, campsite where we're staying for a night. But um, enjoy some of this uh, lovely scenery that we're driving through in France. Indeed. So, it's a pretty uh, French high street. We're well clear of Calais now. And. Uh, and the favourite place, a boulangerie. Oh, oui, monsieur, oui. Beaucoup de pain. And just loving some of the architecture here. What a lovely little place this is, a little village. Hello Nikki. Hello. This isn't this isn't Resi, what are you in this for? My sister's hire vehicle. Oh yes, look at this lovely little French village. And a nice little pad there. What about that, eh? Nice little terrace to the right there. If you fancied a bit of tea, shut at the moment, but look at that. Oh. I reckon if we sold Resi the Moho, perhaps we could do a one for one swap. No, we'd never sell Resi the Moho. Lush. And tonight we're staying at a place called Le Lac du Pathier which we're just approaching now. You can see that cracking grey cloud coming in the distance there. Turn left, then you will arrive at your destination. And that's our good old Doris telling us uh, that we're here. Very nice too. And there, straight ahead of you, you can just start seeing the, uh, seeing the edge of the lake that we're on there. Lovely. So this is Le Lac de Panthier, a uh, lovely little reception area through uh, the back of the bar, they've got a bar, pizzeria, um, some other outdoor facilities there, you can hire bikes here, um, and, uh, and of course, well, there's of course Resi up on the blocks, needed a little bit of levelling. <coughs> Judy's van next door and after a passing shower we're just about uh, just about level slightly west of Dijon to uh, locate you geographically so we've 
come about um, 100 and 180, 190 miles south from where we were yesterday at uh, Aubour de Laine. Um, and this is our stop just for the night tonight, <coughs> which looks, as you can see right at the end there, looks like an artificial wall there, so it's obviously a man-made reservoir, perhaps serving Dijon itself. But you can see uh, from those <coughs> skylines there that we had a little bit of moisture. And of course, typical, just as I was filling up the water and uh, getting the, getting the uh, moho up level, it decided to rain. But look, that's what's coming instead. So, And it's still, um, despite the cloud, it's about 21 at the moment, according to the van. And it's... Uh, and it's about 7.15 p.m. So, um, yeah, only 21, but uh, the next couple of days in where we are now, albeit we weren't here, but where we are now, it's going up to 28 in the next two days. So, yeah, just a passing front, but cools everything down. But what a great spot. Let's uh, have a wander around and uh, show you a tiny bit more of the site, just in case you fancy a trip down here. We picked a route that obviously went, uh, avoided Paris, so um, we're basically c coming straight down towards the Mediterranean um, in, a, in almost a straight line to the east of Paris. So Reims on the first night and then, uh, and then down to uh, just west of Dijon tonight. And tomorrow we're into the Alps, Alpe d'Huez, so don't miss that. Uh, and then Julie and Nikki are somewhere down there because that's an underground indoor pool and they've also got an outdoor pool here um, which is fantastic looks like somebody's getting ready for a bit of a barbecue celebration there some little chalets quite a few pitches all got 10 amp electric here 10 amp electric um, and then you can hire uh, you can hire these crazy things as well and I guess because it's a man-made reservoir by the looks of uh, the water in the distance there and the walls, it's probably pretty flat to have a go on one of these recumbent bikes sort of thing. And even a go-kart there, look at those. Great fun. And that's the, uh, that's the reception area. Even with the pool, they've got a sauna, fitness room. Um, so really a lovely facility. And... Um, with a little bit of tree cover when it gets super hot here as it's going to in the next day or two um, but a lovely facility guys if you're fancying the trip uh, or want to stop off uh, as you head down further south perhaps into the Alps or the Med like we are then um, then Le, Le Lac du Panthier of course I need you to just test whether the uh, beer was sufficient quality for you guys um, to make sure that I wasn't recommending anywhere with dodgy beer and I can confirm that it's really lovely so I'm up on the um, that's that little restaurant that I was just showing you earlier lovely little outside eating area here and um, a stunning view there look at that <coughs> in comes the sun away goes the grey Very pleasant. If we're here a bit longer, the kayak would definitely be inflated from the garage. But uh, not got to be out till midday tomorrow. Very sociable time. Sauna's open between 10 and 12, so you never know. We may try and catch a sauna tomorrow. And that's what you call handy for the bar. There's Resi over there and Julie's van so I've got to get almost 15 meters back to the van if I stay and have any more of those this evening and look at that right whoever's tried one of these let me know in the comments below we've bought some grub for tonight but um, has anybody ever tried a pizza machine don't think I've ever seen one before. Must be a gang of 
There's a gang of people in the back here throwing dough in the air. Let's just check. No, no sign. Throwing dough in the air and spreading mozzarella, do you reckon? Modern technology. And this morning we're making a little bit of ground um, because we, our journey takes us past Lyon and Grenoble uh, before we turn off then and head for uh, the Alpe d'Huez or for the town of Uez today. Um, so we've jumped on the motorway. As you, uh, as you go onto the motorway, they just, you just press a button on the uh, machine that uh, spits out a ticket which registers where you've entered the motorway system. And then eventually when we leave, um, we'll hopefully show you the um, toll booths where you just merely stick this one back in and it gives you the amount. Um, so very simple again, uh, very simple to use. Um, and Nikki's having a point on the motorway. Indeed, taking us into the Alps. Into the very, Alps very nice. will be lovely. Yes. So um, looking forward to a drive down into those sunnier climbs, aren't you lovelies? Yes, yeah, most definitely. Yes, very nice. Pottering along, we've been uh, after the heady days of day one where we came down the M4 um, on with the cruise control on um, we were got to the incredible MPG of 34.7 for that journey on day one which was into Black Horse Farm which was incredible because I've only been getting 27 28 um, and then uh, since then we've just hit about uh, 700 miles and uh, because we took a lot of the country roads in France we're running now after 700 miles at 29.6 mpg so still pretty good for a 2.3 diesel um, in this vehicle this mobile better um, it's a euro six so still not bad that economy wise um, especially with the cruise control on and watching the world go by but we'll keep you updated on uh, on how she gets on with some of the uh, the mileage or the MPG in and around the Alps, I suspect that might drop a bit. On the A6, as you can see there with these signs coming up, um, takes us down uh, towards Lyon and of course Geneva's, Geneva's um, pretty close by, you can almost see that as we go down out to the, um, out to the east. Then the uh, French airs you see signposted there. Some have fuel, some are just rest areas. They have airs on motorways, but they also have them in towns. They often are good park ups, overnight park ups for uh, motorhomes as well. But uh, of course, airs on the motorway, uh, if they've got fuel and bits and bobs, then generally they're just like the UK, they're going to be a bit more pricey.
just about, um, so my sat nav tells me, about 400 metres away. Look at that, bit of snow up there on the tops. Wow. Well, while I get a quick water stop, a quick fill up, look at those for some views. Premier Moby in the morning. And what was the first thing I saw, first van I saw when we got in here, another mobile Veta. French on French plates. First one we've seen on this trip. What a lovely spot. La Rencontre du Soleil is the name of the site. Absolutely lovely and just, um, just up, I think up that direction is the um, for those of you cycling fans might know it as well, the uh, Alpe d'Huez, or Alpe d'Huez, I think, they might pronounce the Z, um, where the uh, Tour de France sometimes uh, takes the riders up to the top of that uh, summit. I've got to try and get up there while we're here, three nights here before we head on down to the Med. What a contrast. As I drive back from the water stop, that's the reception there, just in front. I'll just show you as we drive around back to the pitch. And there, straight ahead, is uh, our other mobile better. Well, there's Julie's uh, camper van getaways van in, and then uh, we've got set up here. Nikki's really excited. In fact, before I'd even stopped the van, she was jumping out saying, I've got to put my new mat out. <laughs> so, so, there. so she was delighted to be able to do that. So I had to make sure I didn't run her over as she in her excitement to get the mat out. But anyway, um, set up, dug the bikes out. Got a good three days here. The forecast for the next three days is absolutely stunning. Um, so I suspect we might be doing a little bit, although I doubt we'll be going to the summit of those on those. Looks like we're right in the back corner of the site actually. So no through traffic coming by at all, so be dead quiet. And some very pretty irises, look at those. Could be a lot worse, couldn't it, folks? Could be a lot worse. That's a serious scooter trailer, that one. Whoa, look at that for a starter. Yum, yum. Goat's cheese salad over there. Bit of garlic bread. This is um, the restaurant and the campsite. Fabulous, fabulous. And main course, bit of pizza, bit of um, bit of fish going on over there, bit of trout over here. Is that good, Nikki? Is it yummy? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yum yum. And I thought, as we're halfway through our meal. I'd come out because the skies are clearing, sun on the peaks there, it's almost, it's uh, just incredible. Everything's so clear but just so massive, the peaks. Here incidentally is the, uh, they've got an indoor pool here, heated, um, which is absolutely fab, the ladies have tried that. But um, almost, it's just stunning, look at those. Look at those mountain lines. Snow cap peaks in the distance there. Uh, weather clearing tomorrow, as I say, is supposed to be 22, 23, then going up to 26. But look at that, it's just so clear. What a fabulous spot. And Nikki is stealing. Mm. Look, some chantilly got cream. Got you. Got. 
stealing my dessert. Look at that. Oh, and Julie's over there. Oh, completely awful, as you can see. So we've had a fab couple of nights in France so far, and here we are in Alpes d'Huez, and um, mm -hmm. very impressed so far. I can't wait to do some more exploring. Oh yes, and that grub, that was good, wasn't it? Oh, that was lovely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, top quality, delicious. albeit I didn't get to eat all my dessert, did no. I? I wonder why. No, I wonder why. It was delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I wonder why I didn't get to eat all my dessert. Oh, it was delicious. Yes, yes. Yeah. Stolen dessert, yeah, yeah. What, what ifs? <laughs> <laughs> yes, hope you enjoyed that. And isn't the site at Outdoors lovely? Um, in fact, we'll be looking forward to that. First reminder to seeing that or seeing the Outdoors again when the Tour de France comes through. So look out for that. I think they're coming through in July time, early July. So um, that will be another nice chance to see these fabulous mountains. But um, join us again very soon for our next trip uh, when we're probably going to go up the mountain itself. Yippee! Fun times. See you again soon, guys. Bye. Bye. bye.